It's Wednesday, July 1st, 2013. I'm back in the studio, and this is Today in Sneaks. Welcome to the show, I am your host Jacques Slade and let's start things off with a little bit of history. Though it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but the Nike Just Do It campaign turned 25 years old this month. Created by Dan Whedon of Whedon & Kennedy, the ad is one of the most recognized campaigns ever created and was inspiring to people everywhere. Big shout out to Walt Stack who is actually the old man running in the commercial who was 80 years old back then. Speaking of history, the homie Brandon went to work today over at Complex with a complete history of the Air Jordan signature line from 1 to 28. For those looking to gain some serious insight into the Air Jordan line, this is a must read post. Brandon digs into some great details and drops info that I didn't even know for a couple of the models. Be sure to hop over to Complex and learn yourself something on the complete history of the Air Jordan signature line. Those digi floral Janoskis may have caught your eye, but this new colorway may just push those to the back burner. Called the Tiger Stripe, the colorway is a blend of rainbows and basically tiger stripes. As of right now, there is no release date, but let me know in the comments if this is a colorway you would rock of the Nike SB Zoom Janoski. I think we all knew it would only be a matter of time before Jeremy Scott got his artistic hand on the Adidas basketball line and so it looks like things are starting to happen. The D-Rose 3.5 is given a makeover by the forward-thinking fashion designer with a collection of cherubs that have special places in their hearts for music and for money it looks like. The white sneaker and its gold adorned cherubs are accompanied by white laces and a white midsole and will be hitting very select retailers such as Oneness this weekend on July 6th. As most of you know, I was in DC last week for the launch of the KD6, which was an amazing experience. I got to go to his hometown, which is called Seat Pleasant. I got to go to the rec center where he actually played ball, went to his grandmother's house. But I also heard from people like John Thompson, who are legendary when it comes to basketball. And the sort of respect that they have for KD is really mind blowing. He is a different guy. It's really, you know, when people say it's just different, they're really talking about KD. So, so far I've put together a couple of videos that I want to make sure that you guys know about for the release of the shoe. There's uh, the DC preheat, there's also the meteorology colorway and just an overall overview of the shoe. So I'll add links to those at the end of the video to make sure you check those out. So that's the Nike KD6. And for today's sneakerhead of the day, I'm going with my homie Brandon. He's the one who actually wrote the complete history of the Air Jordan signature line over at Complex, and that article alone is worth a follow. So make sure you follow him over on Instagram. His name is right here, Mr. Brando3. Give him a follow and let him know you appreciate the work that he does over at Complex. Well, for those that want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is right there, Cousteau. And make sure you use the hashtag WearYourKicks. Well, that is going to do it for the show today. I'm happy to be back here in the studio. Seems like I haven't been here in a long time. So it's good to see all of you guys. Make sure you hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button. And also, if you haven't already, hit the links down in the description. It'll give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. And make sure you click in here somewhere for something random somewhere. Click. Just click it. And I will see you soon. Peace. I'm your host, Jacques Slade, and let's get things started right away today. Over the weekend, Kanye West tweeted. And the shoe pays tributes really to, uh, to KD's hometown. So here's a, just a closer look at the shoe. There's the Max right there on the, uh, on the midsole. And they actually trail all the way around the shoe on the heel. There you go. Right around to the 